protection for judges. This after another judge was killed in a revenge slay. Jim Murray has more. Federal Judge Esther Salas knows what it's like to be targeted by a crazed assassin. Nearly two years ago, her 20-year-old son Daniel was shot to death and her husband seriously wounded in their New Jersey home by a lawyer who had a gripe with Judge Salas. My son was not going to let that man step a foot in our foyer. And Daniel took a, a hit uh, head on, uh, on a direct hit to his chest. Were you the intended target? I was absolutely the intended target. He had, he had hoped uh, to assassinate me, but he was met by superior forces, and that's my son and my husband. Now her mission to protect judges is getting new momentum after the shocking death of retired judge John Romer, who was found slain in his home in New Lisbon, Wisconsin, on Friday, zip tied to a chair, then shot to death. The suspect, Douglas Uda, was once sentenced to 10 years in prison for armed robbery by the judge. He was found in the basement with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police say Uda had a hit list that included the governors of Wisconsin and Michigan and U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Another man on the hit list is Dan Marcon, who's running for county sheriff in Wisconsin. I did run into him when I was in the Stanley prison system. I was a sergeant there for 10 years. Uh, and I do remember him in there, so it kind of is like, okay, this is off the hook as far as weird. Judge Salas was especially close to her son, Daniel, who was her only child. She shared the very last words he ever said to her. Daniel was whip swinging a wiffle ball bat, and he said to me, Mom, keep talking to me. I love talking to you. And it was as if, you know, cue, ring the doorbell, as if it was a movie. The doorbell rang. Her son's killer had gotten the judge's home address off the internet. The judge is now on a crusade to pass legislation that would scrub the personal information about judges from all online sources. She says she'll do whatever it takes. To use my voice, uh, to use my beautiful son's face, and to use our tragic circumstances to remind people what can happen if we don't take this seriously. The bill before Congress has bipartisan support, but it's being held up by Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who wants it expanded to include similar protection for members of Congress.